Hey guys, how are you here from the Art Gear guys? Thanks very much for joining me today. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I just want to say um, that I hope all of you are keeping well and safe, what with everything that's going on in the world today. Uh, I know a lot of people are really frightened about what's happening, but hopefully it'll all be over soon and we'll all be back to normal as soon as we can. Um, I wanted to uh, review the Koei Noor graphite pencils. I've had these now for quite some time. Uh, I just haven't got around to doing them. And to be quite honest with you as well, I've always had in the back of my mind that graphite isn't my strongest point in when I'm doing art. And I wanted to try and find something uh, that I thought I could do quite well with the graphite pencils to help best demonstrate the, the pencils for the review. So I did that and to be quite honest with you, I was really happy with the results of the artwork that I did. Um, so, I rave on quite a bit about Koinor products, especially the, the polycolor that they have and the uh, Mondeleuze watercolor pencils that they do as well. I get a lot of people asking me uh, recommendations on what type of pencils that's best for them on a budget range and nearly every single time the Koinor polycolor are in that list that I would give to people. Uh, all the products I've reviewed of Koinor so far have I've I've really enjoyed using them. They've been really good in terms of all the different tests that I've put them through. And so I wanted to do this with the their their graphite pencils. Now Koinor sell an extensive range of art products. They do a lot of back to school products as well. So they have a lot of graphite type pencils. This is what they call their professional range. Now, there's a proper name here. Toys and Door or something. I don't know. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that for the rest of the video. But it is it is uh, on the, the thing. But Koinor just referred to these as their professional graphite pencils. Now, the, the, I do have another set of pencils that they do. Which I, I think is more their student line. And it's kind of their, their yellow barrel with the brown... Um, cap on the end. I will be reviewing those at a later date but for now this is the pencil that they do. Now in terms of the sets that the, the, the professional graphite pencils come in um, I only had two small nitpicky issues with these pencils and one of them is the sets that, that they sell them in. So first of all for anybody that's not familiar with graphite uh, graphite is done in a grade, so when you were at school you were probably using an HB pencil. Well the HB is kind of like, if you think of a scale, the HB is right smack bang in the middle. And then anything B graded, like to the right of the scale, as you're looking at it I suppose, the higher up that B grade, the darker the graphite and the softer the core is. And the opposite direction for the H grade will be the lighter the graphite and the harder the core would be. Uh, the reason why it's so light is because they pack those types of pencils more with clay and stuff like that. Less graphite, more clay. Uh, that gives you that really light uh, graphite appearance. Um, with the darker shades, you know, it's, it's all graphite, less clay. That's why it's much, much softer uh, core. So, with the with their professional pencils, they only sell two sets of 12. Uh, they do uh, this HB to 2H set. Um, and I'll go through the, the different grades that are in there in a second. And then they do another set, which is 8B to 8H. But it's only 12 pencils in that. So it's not the full like 8B to 8H pencil line. So it's, it skips out a couple of grades. Uh, but I have all that listed over in the art gear guide for the, the written review that I've done on these. If you want to go across and see and check which, uh, what grades is in that set. Um, I personally would like to have seen them come out with like a 24 set of all the graphite pencils that they have. I think that they've... Well, I know that they've got... Uh, um, the highest on the H grade is a 10H and the highest on the B grade is a 8B. Now, I think that the 10H that they've just... the has been added is relatively new um, so I'm not too sure I, I know that Kobe Noor are bringing out a few extra sets it was supposed to be launched a little bit sooner than what it will be now because of the everything that's going on globally 
So I'm hoping maybe they, they will come out with a 24 set, but um, for now it's just these two 12 sets. Now you can get these pencils as well, open stock. Uh, I haven't found any on uh, Amazon individually, but you can buy the, the, the graphite grades individually in packs of 12. Again, I've got all the prices and what have you and links to those sets over on the Art Gear Guide for uh, the UK, the US and Europe. And also, um, I found a couple of stores, like franchise type stores, that do sell the pencils individually. Uh, and I've linked those over on the Art Gear Guide as well. So let's take a look at the actual pencil itself. Now, I know the appearance of an art product isn't really important. What it looks like on the outside, you know, it, it's not really that important. But I think that this is one of the nicest looking pencils that I've used. Um, it's a it, it's a really nice chunky pencil. So it has a, an 8mm hexagonal barrel. The core on the, the 2 eighths is 3.8mm and I think the higher up on the 8th grade, um, so, so like the 8B, I think the core thickens out slightly, um, but not by much. And that, again, that's down to the composition of the, the graphite, it being a softer core and stuff like that, so it needs to be a little bit more thicker to deal with sharpening. Um, as you can see here along this beautiful matte barrel, uh, you got the company name in uh, gold leaf, Koinor, and then you've got the the name of this particular range of pencil, which is here. Uh, then there's a, a 1910 here. Now Koinor have this kind of like numbering system, so like I think they're polycolor. All all the the polycolor pencils are 3800 and then a number. Um, all their graphite range are 1900. And so like this one here is 1910. It's not a date, it's just it, it helps reference for ordering or uh, like companies ordering in and that type of thing. It's more for the company, I think, than anybody else. Uh, on the very end here, we have this kind of cream colored um, ring. And on each side of the hexagonal, the, the graphite grade is printed. Now, a lot of people find that really useful because if you've got just the, the pencil grade, the, the graphite grade on just one side of the pencil, it's not always clear to see. You've got to lift the pencil up and have a look, look round, twist it and stuff like that. Uh, but what they've done here is they've put it on each side of the hexagonal and so it's really easy to, to see the, the grade, which is really handy. Uh, the pencil's capped off here at the end so you can't see the core in the centre. But... I think what, what makes this pencil look so professional, I think if Koinor had a kind of went with, uh, I guess what you would put down as like the uh, the obvious colour, like a white flash on here, I don't think this pencil would have looked as nice, but I think this nice cream colour really sets it off, ma makes it look like a professional looking pencil. So within this uh, particular set, the 8B to 2H, so you have a 2H, an H, HB, F, then a B, 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B, 7B, and 8B. Now, when I was doing the artwork with this, uh, with these pencils, I also used the Koinor graphite powder. Now, I'm not re really reviewing this or anything like that, but I did use it in the artwork just for the background and so I wanted to make sure that I listed it in here just in case anybody wanted to know what it was. And also as well, uh, you'll probably see me using a white pencil but it's not a pencil, it's an, er it's an eraser. It's a Koinor uh, soft white pencil eraser. Now I bought about 10 of these, I think it was. Uh, maybe not that much. Quite a while back because... When I bought, bought my first one, I liked it so much, I just wanted to make sure I had a supply of them just in case it went kind of like off the, the, the product list. Uh, this is a fantastic pencil eraser, so I just wanted to make sure that you knew what I was using if you go across and watch the speed drawing of the artwork. So let's put that to the side. So if you take a look here, this is the grade. I know there's some, the lights are going to reflect off this and make it look shiny, especially on the 8B grades, that type of thing. But 
I will have an image of this over in the art gear guide and an image will come up on the screen as well giving you a better look at this but this is the grade so you can see what I mean when I was talking about if you're not familiar with graphite um, the higher up the H scale the lighter it gets and the darker up the sorry the, the higher up the the B grade the darker it gets so you can see there so I've got a little bit of a, a test here okay so I've used the the 8B and the 2H now the 2H in, in the set that I have the 2H is the lightest but like I said Koinor on in this particular range they go up to 10H so that's really super light um, but what I've done is I've done each of them in layers so the 8B one layer, two layer, three layer, four layer, five layer, and then just one heavy application, okay? So I'm just going to do uh, a little bit of a racing on these just to show you how well or not well that they lift up. And this might also help you understand that when you're doing working with graphite, it's best to work in layers like you would do with colored pencil because if you just put like a really dark, heavy application down and you make a mistake, it's going to be much more difficult to lift that um, graphite off the, the paper as opposed to if you've just put down a couple of light layers you'll be able to lift them off so <clears throat> so we'll start off with the the 8b first of all um, and I'm going to I'm not going to do all the layers okay because it'll all be the same so I'm going to go um, midway with the layering I'm going to do the erasing on the third layer and then I'm going to do it on the heavy application as well so let me zoom in a little bit Okay, so first of all, I'm going to use the, the Koinor uh, graphite pencil. And there's a wee tip for you as well. Whenever I'm doing things like this and I'm using like these uh, pencil erasers or I'm using... Um, like the Tombow Mono Eraser. I know a lot of people say, you know, cut the ends off once it gets all black. But what you can do is you can get your putty eraser and just gently dab the, the tip of the eraser, the pencil eraser or the Tombow Mono Eraser onto the the, um, the putty eraser. And the putty eraser takes all the, the graphite off. Okay, so that one, the top one there is the... the Koei Noor. I'm just going to use the uh, Tombow Mono Eraser because it is a slightly harder eraser than the the, the Koei Noor. Uh, and then I'm going to use this Putty Eraser as well. There you can see that it's lifted off really nicely, as you, as you would expect with anything that's being layered on gently. So the top one was the Koinor, the second one was the Tombow Mono, and then that was just the, the, the putty eraser. So then we go down to the third layer of the H grade. Now it's obviously going to be a lot easier because it's a lighter grade <coughs> graphite to erase it off so again we'll start off with the the, the Koei Noor and so you can see there straight away it's much much easier a lot less rubbing uh, Tombow Mono Eraser And then uh, use the, the putty eraser to try and lift the, the bottom off. So there you go. You can see there the, the lighter grade pencil is easier to lift off than what it was with the, the darker grade pencil, the, 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 the 8B. Now obviously the 8B is the darkest in this set. So we're going to have a look at uh, trying to erase off if you do a really heavy application the type of mess and problems that you're going to cause for yourself <coughs> so with the um with the koinor soft pencil eraser Thank you. 
There you go. So you can see that that took a little bit of effort there. Um, we'll go into the Tombow Mono Eraser. And it's almost like it creates, whenever you, whenever you put a, a heavy application of this graphite down, it creates like a, a sheen. Another little tip for you as well, whenever you're doing like uh, colour pencil stuff and you're erasing stuff off, if you don't have a brush to brush it off, get your putty eraser to lift off the bits. So, and then I'm going to come in and lift off the bottom here with the putty eraser. You can see all the graphite there on the eraser. I mean, you can work away at that and keep keep dabbing it and stuff like that there to try and lift it up. But when you start putting heavy applications down, you're, you're damaging the tooth of the paper, all this other stuff, which I'm sure you're already aware of. And it just makes... It just makes things a lot more difficult for you if you do make a mistake or you need to move something around or whatever. Uh, so with the 2H again, it's a heavy application, so I've damaged the tooth of this paper. Um, it's going to be harder again. But because it is um, a 2H, because it's a lighter grade graphite, it does give me a little bit more leeway. And so with the Tombow Mono Eraser, And then, just down at the bottom. So there you go. You can see the different the different problems that arise whenever you're doing working with graphite and you're trying to erase off that type of stuff. Um, you put heavy applications down; it is going to cause a problem. But this particular graphite, the Koinor graphite, it's nice and dark here up around the 8. But that is one of the things that I think people might have an issue with. I'm, I've worked with other graphite sets when I've been doing reviews. And the Koinor isn't quite as dark as some of the others. Now, again, that's down to personal preference. Um, if you're after that type of look or not... Um, but the, the Koinor is a little bit lighter. Some of the, the, like the 8B here, is a little bit lighter than some of the other 8Bs that I've used in the past, but not drastically. Okay, so as you can see here, all I'm doing is I'm just rubbing out uh, I've got a 4B here and just rubbing lightly over the paper uh, and I'm just going to do a little bit of blending with uh, various different products that I used in the drawing. So that should be a bit, that should be about it. Now one of the other things that I want to say with the, the 2H and the H in, the, in this particular set, I did find it to be a little bit gritty but it wasn't anything serious, it wasn't to the detriment of the artwork that I was doing. It didn't start scratching the paper or anything like that. I could just feel it when I was using it that it was a little bit gritty. So when I was doing um, the artwork, I used uh, a paper blending stump. And I also used uh, a cotton bud, cotton swab, just to, to blend it out a little bit and just to show you how well or, or not that uh, this particular graphite blends out. So... So you can see there, this 4B, which is basically your mid-range mid B, is it blends out really nicely. And so I can get that to go up further, blend it out into like a, a gradient, a lighter gradient by bringing it away from the, the main body of graphite. Uh, if you wanted, if you were looking for uh, an even softer look, you would use a, a cotton swab, and it'll it'll be kinder to the paper as well, less likely to damage any tooth of the paper. If you're using a cotton swab, this is really good. I found for um, I've watched a lot of graphite artists use cotton swabs when they're doing like portraiture that type of thing, where the the gradient has got to be really really subtle. Um, 
and they don't want to be damaged in the tooth of the paper. And another way of moving your graphite around or smoothing it out is a like a, a little brush, paintbrush. Um, it, this isn't going to give you the really super smooth look. Let's say the blending stump or the uh, the cotton swab did, but even if you you're up round here and you just wanted to smooth that out even further, then you would use a, a little brush like that and it would help you just fatten that out a little bit more. Also, I think the brush that I'm using is a little bit too soft. Maybe I should have used a if you have a slightly stiffer bristled brush, you'd probably get a better look. But I did use this brush when I was doing some of the artwork that I was doing, uh, when I was doing the ballet shoes. Uh, for the graphite powder, when I was using that, I, like I say, this isn't a review of the graphite powder, but nevertheless, um, I poured a little bit out into a jar. And um, all I did was just lifted it off on the cotton swab and then rubbed it into the paper, just making sure that it was getting all those little bits of powder worked off. Now it doesn't say on this what grade of graphite it is. Um, so I'm not 100% sure what, what grade it is, but it looks round about 5B or something like that, maybe 4B. Uh, and as far as I know, that's the only graphite powder that Koinor do. You can get lots of different companies do graphite powder in jars and stuff like that but you obviously you can make your own graphite powder you can sand off the 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 pencils that you have sand it off onto a little plate or something and then just lift it up on a cotton swab there's lots of different ways that you can create your own powder and it just helps if you if you're looking to do like a really soft background or again like the, the portraiture or hair or anything like that and then you would come back in when you when you're using this you would come back in with your pencil eraser or your tombow mono eraser and you know you you basically then start drawing with the the pencil eraser to help get lights or whatever that you wanted to get whatever you're creating whether it's whiskers or something like that if you're doing a cat or something um you would come back in and just lift it off and because it's just graphite powder and you've put it down with a cotton swab, the tooth of the paper is still fine and it's going to lift off really easy because it is powder and you haven't used the graphite pencil to push in on the tooth of the paper. Anyway guys, that's my review of the, um, the, the Koinor professional graphite pencils. I really did enjoy using these. Like I said, I would, just, I would love to see a 24 set being brought out so you could just buy the entire collection uh, that they have from the 10H all the way up to the 8B. Um, the graphite powder that I used, it helped me a lot whenever I was trying to do the, the, the background of the artwork that I did. It just allowed me to do it in much, much quicker time without any pencil strokes or anything like that showing up. And I have to say this Koinor, um pencil eraser is probably one of the best pencil erasers I've ever used. I loved it uh, and I loved it so much that when I first bought it I went and bought a lot more just to make sure that um, if they ever went out of sale or anything they got ran out of stock or anything that I was I knew I was going to be okay. Anyway guys that's it. Thank you so much for watching this review. Uh, sorry I haven't had a lot of reviews out but Everybody's stuck in the house now and stuff like that, so the kids are here, so it's difficult to try and get these videos made, but I will keep trying to get them done and get them out as quick as I can. Thanks very much, guys. Look forward to seeing you all again next time. Bye.